and I wondered if anybody had let the golf course manager know that he was convicted for solicitation to commit murder. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mike C. And I'm Dawn Baker. We continue to follow breaking news out of Rincon. An independent contractor serving as the golf course superintendent is fired. And tonight we're hearing from city leaders as well as residents. WTOC anchor Madeline Hunt joins us now from the WTOC newsroom. Madeline, how did this information come out? Mike Don, Rincon City Council found out about Jim Watkins criminal history during a recent city council meeting. The criminal history is tied to Watkins arrest back in 2011 for the solicitation to murder his brother. Watkins was sentenced to five years in prison for the crime back in 2014. During last night's council meeting, Rincon's police chief went over court documents from that case. So that's a transcript of the whole case and how it's handled from beginning to end, uh, disposition of it, the uh, sentencing, the probation, the, everything else. And it appears to be a, a completely legitimate transcript from Broward County Clerk of Court. Me. Now, meanwhile, residents and a council member at the council meeting questioned how all of this happened. We need to know how he got here. The process, there's something in the process that allowed him in. The council has a responsibility to answer how he got here. Something in the process is broke. And how he got paid. And how he got paid. City manager Jonathan Lynn sent out a statement today saying, quote, we have taken swift and immediate action to address the city's liability as soon as we were able to confirm the allegations regarding the background of Mr. Watkins, end quote. The city of Rincon is now working to finalize an updated policy regarding background checks for anyone associated with the city. WTOC will continue to follow this. For now, live in the newsroom, I'm Madeline Hunt. Mike, Don, back to you. Well, let's take a live look now. 